What is going on everyone? This is Ninja Geek here, and we're going to have some Black Ops 3 in the background for you today. We're going to be doing another discussion about which editing software is better, in my own opinion. A lot of the times what you get on YouTube is comparisons between Sony Vegas and Adobe Premiere and Final Cut and all the big editing programs, and then you get to look at the different features that they have, the prices that they offer, and then that's just it. That's the comparison, and they don't leave you with their opinion about which one is better. They don't have an opinion. They just compare it, and then that's it. And a lot of the times, that just turns me off because I'm looking to see, it, it, depending on whatever video it is, whatever comparison video, I'm looking to see the, the actual creator's opinion about what he thinks is better, not just comparing the softwares or whatever the case may be and then leaving it to be. And then they're like, let me know what you think about whatever in the comments below. And it's just like, well, that didn't really help. I want to know what you think. So I'm going to not basically be talking about every single feature in this video. I want to be discussing which one's better, and my past with the different video editing software. So first of all, of course, we're going to be getting into Windows Movie Maker and iMovie uh, when we start comparing the other ones towards the end, but I would also like to mention I have used Final Cut Pro for the 30-day free trial, and it's basically like an iMovie on steroids. It is, it's probably obviously by far the cheapest of all of them, uh, all the major ones. So if you're look, I, I can't really compare that though. I can't really say much on that because it's basically like iMovie, except it's uh, obviously an advanced editing software. It's just I haven't had enough experience with that, and I don't plan on buying that one at all uh, because I already have two editing softwares that are premium editing software. So let's get into it. So before, when I used to do edits and other such things, way, 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 way back when, like talking like five, ten, like six, seven, eight years ago, I used Windows Movie Maker. Everyone did. Everyone, people still do now. And uh, I don't think Microsoft is ever planning to upgrade that or whatever because usually people don't use that nowadays. I think the last time they had touched that was like Windows 7 or something, and then they were just like, yeah, people don't really use this. I don't really see because I don't even think it in comes included. On Windows 8 or 10 so I think you got to actually go and download it from Microsoft site I believe don't take my word on it but I started there like everyone did and it's your basic you know video editing software it's not it's nothing special you put the clips in you put music in you can put titles here and there you cut clips split them do whatever you want transitions simple stuff uh, moving on to iMovie basically the same thing except only for Mac so obviously Windows Movie Maker for Windows, iMovie for Mac, basically the same type of thing. I do have to say though, iMovie is a little bit better in because you can do a little bit more advanced stuff that media or uh, Movie Maker can't do. Like I think you could do some things with green screen maybe in iMovie. You can do different things. I played around with it a little bit, but uh, you know overall, but they're general. So as generally speaking, they're not the worst things in the world, and you can use them. It's just I I wanted to talk about more or I wanted to get into more premium editing. So then what I did was I didn't want to spend the money to go to uh, a high, high, high one like Vegas or Premiere. So what I did was I ended up buying this one called Cyberlink Power Director. I think that's what it was. And I had the Power Director Pro 12, I think. And I came out, I think they have 13 now or 14, one of those, but I paid $60 for the program. And if you're looking for a medium editing software, I would highly recommend that series, the Cyberlink Power Director one. That's what I used to use back when I started when I was uploading Call of Duty Ghosts. That's what I used. It's a $60 program. It's not that expensive at all. It's great. It does your basic features plus even more. I think it has green screens in it. You could do titles. Uh, I could even, you know, load it up now if I, if I, or put it on my computer if I wanted to, but I obviously don't because I have Vegas now. And, uh, then from there, after Cyberlink Power Director 12, I think the problem with it was that it was either my computer or whatever the case may be. I wanted to get more into it. I didn't want just this. And I saw people, I wanted the, I wanted to take a step forward and get the actual premium thing, the actual one, the editing software that was the editing software, the one that could do everything that you wanted it to do. And so then I made the steps to looking towards should I buy Premiere or should I buy Vegas? Because I'm a person that if I like something, I'll buy it. I'm not going to sit there and try and figure out how to download Torrents and install uh, Vegas and install or install Premiere. I could do that, but I'm not going to because I'm not going to waste my time and try and get these keys and then put hacks and shit all crap on my computer. I don't want that. 
So whatever one I was going to choose, I was going to buy. And uh, and I and I'll say I use Premiere for school purposes when I do different projects for that. So that's where I'm coming at from that experience. And also, but uh, another side note by the way, if you want to check out some of those, I have that on my second channel. I'll leave a link, actually a card right now. It'll be a click up card right there in the top. You can click over to my second channel, see what I have over there. Uh, some of my recent edits are obviously using Adobe Premiere CS5. I want to say that's the one that I have. Uh, but that is Adobe Premiere. And Vegas, I have Vegas Pro 13, so the newest one on my, obviously, my PC here. And I have Premiere on my Mac, a laptop. So, basically, what I did was I kind of researched before. This is going back to whether or not I should get Premiere or Vegas. I kind of researched which one would be better, which this has more features, which one renders better, this and that. And I came to the conclusion, obviously, you could try the 30-day trial of both of them to see which one's better. Or, well, I mean, in your own opinion, obviously, to see which one, and, and you could use it for 30 days. I don't think, yeah, there wasn't a watermark when I used it, so I, I said, okay, I'm going to get download Vegas and use it. And at this point, I think what I did was I downloaded both at the same time, but I got Premiere on my Mac, and I got Vegas here on my computer. It was one of those. I, get, I got them around maybe the same time, either that or I got Premiere before, something like that. But I got them generally almost around the same time, and I was messing around with both of them. And I found out from just from experience and usage that I clicked with Vegas literally within two days or three days. I was Vegas was loving me. It was like we were paired together like husband and wife. We were there for each other every day, and Vegas is still here for me every day um, that I use, obviously, to edit all my videos. I also hear that Premiere renders better than Vegas. Uh, I, I can't really tell the difference. They pretty much do the same thing. Uh, unless you have like this sharpest, keenest eye and you can tell the difference, they're pretty much the same, so don't worry about render. Uh, quality it's more on the render time because I hear Premiere renders out faster than Vegas does So if you have a crappier PC, maybe Premiere is going to be better for you But overall in general, I'm talking about the easeability the user interface of Vegas is so much better cleaner It's it's got a night you may open it up at first when you get the trial because I'd highly suggest getting the trials of these They still run them you could just get them for 30 days. No watermarks and it, it's pretty nice when you first open Vegas, it's going to be a gray, 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 and you're going to see all gray, and it's like, and that's what I first thought. I was like, oh, well, this doesn't look that professional. Just don't turn that, don't let that turn you off, because it is a great software, and then, and actually, the one of the nice things that I actually like about, and or, uh, what's the word that I want, I prefer Vegas over Premiere is the fact that it's it's got a classic gray style, which means that it's easier to look at. At first, it seemed kind of dull. But then you get used to it, and it actually makes it more simpler to do the things that you want instead of having Premiere's way to do it where it's all, like, everything. It's got, like, its own tab, and it's got, like, a nice dark color scan. I, I, I prefer Vegas, and in that aspect where the UI is, the user interface, I prefer Vegas's classic gray where I could see everything. It's not too bright. I could look at everything fine versus Premiere, but that is just my own opinion on the user interface. So, uh, in general, and like I've said, I haven't really noticed anything wrong with the render times uh, on both of them. They're pretty much similar. Obviously, my Mac isn't as great as my PC that I have here. It's the laptop anyways, so I don't really render out huge projects on there. And you could obviously, like I said, go check it out on my second channel if you wanted to see that. But, in general, at the end of the day... What I've come to settle on is Premiere and Vegas are both great programs, no matter what you want to do. Uh, Vegas, though, is the one that I would pick, for me anyways. And going into price differences and comparing it to the other, uh, what is it, Movie Maker and iMovie, uh, Vegas would be around, I think I got it for like 600 and that's the mid-tier. There's the 500 one, which is the lower-tier one. There's the mid-tier, which is just the regular Vegas Pro. And then there's obviously the deluxe tier, which I think is like seven or eight hundred, something like that. So that's your price range for that. Premiere, I'm not entirely sure on the price, but I know that you have to be part of the creative cloud and you could only pay for Premiere if you wanted to. Uh, so I don't know how much that is, but you do have to pay per month. And that's another thing that I really just don't like about Premiere and how Adobe's way of doing things is, things is, is that you have to have a creative cloud account. I mean, obviously for, for Vegas, you have to have your sony account for vegas whatever it is on the website the whatever they call it but for 
Premiere, you have to have the Creative Cloud account, and you have to pay, like, whatever it is per month. So let's say I go on Adobe's website, I see, oh, I want to buy Premiere Pro, whoops, I, I can't buy it right out. They don't give you an option to. They give you an option to pay it all off for the entire year, <clears throat> but there's no option to buy it full out. Like Vegas, you could drop $500 or $600, I mean to say, and you could buy, you would have the thing forever. There would be no problems, no, no anything. You'd have the license key, you'd put it in, any computer that you wanted to go to, obviously you're not going to install it on everyone else's computer because there's going to be a limit against that, but if you get a new computer, you can install it on there, no problem. With Creative Cloud, you have to pay per month, and I just personally, myself, I just don't like having that. Like, for example, uh, it, even with Black Ops 3 and their DLC season pass, I like to, if I'm going to buy the DLC, I like to buy the season pass. I hate thinking of the idea of spending more money and, and uh, even if it's a less amount, I hate the idea of spending this amount and then next two months I spend this and then this to get the content. I'd rather spend it full out and then that's just how I like to go about it. things. I like to, to get it over with rather than pay per month so that's why i also prefer vegas but in the end it depends on what you like to do there in your situation so if you like to pay per month because you don't maybe you don't make enough to to uh, pay it all out at front then premiere might be better in that situation comparing vegas and premiere to imovie and Mo movie maker obviously i think i talked about this a little bit in the beginning but movie maker is your basic functionality you've got the splitting the transitions the text you could put music on it it's your basic one it's nothing really special i don't know if microsoft still supports it but if you're you know if you're just doing basic stuff like that it could work it's just they're not advanced programs because they're obviously free iMovie i would say is a little bit better than movie maker from my personal experience you can do a little bit more like i think there's some green screen effects and different things like that within iMovie but in general they are low-key bottom of the line editing software so if you wanted to start off editing like you don't know where to start off and you're looking to get into it use those first and then if you want i like i said i recommend cyberlink power director 12 that was a good one i used it uh, it worked perfectly fine there was no real problems with it occasionally you'd probably get the one or two crashes but it's a 60 dollar program if you wanted to step yourself a little bit up and as far as the top of the line ones vegas and premiere are both great in different aspects because Premiere has different things that Vegas doesn't have. Vegas has things that Premiere doesn't have. But in general, I prefer Vegas at the end of the day over Premiere by a lot. Okay, because it's just getting past the price range. I just like the user interface of Vegas and the simplicity of fading and cutting between clips versus in Premiere, you can't really do that as easily. And that's really what it comes down to is just the simplicity of Vegas. And once you get Vegas, if you even try the free trial of it, you'll see the simplicity and how easy it is. But, you know, like I said, I recommend getting both trials, trying them out for yourself, even getting both trials at the same time. Don't get one and then the next month get Premiere because then you're going to be probably sided towards Premiere or whichever one you get first. Get them both at the same time and play with them. Use Premiere one day, use Vegas the next day, then keep switching back and forth. That's the true way to get to see which one's better. So, uh, And also, obviously, you have to have a, a good computer to run these programs. You're not going to have some crappy i3 processor computer run in Vegas. It's just not going to work, you, okay? Obviously, that's a given. So don't expect it. Don't come back and say, oh, well, it's not going to work because or it, it's not working. My computer can't handle it. A lot of people's can't. You have to have some sort of i7 processor, probably some good graphics card to edit. Uh, you could probably put it in the low quality to preview to preview it uh, so that the editing obviously goes better. But in general, you want to have a great computer to run that. So don't don't buy anything. By all means, just test it out on your device, see how it works. And that's basically the end of my discussion. Leave your comments below on what you think about what you edit on, or if you just like to watch or listen in, then I appreciate that. And I will see you on whatever my next video happens to be. I'm Ninja Geek. I'm out. Peace.